So, unfortunately, uh, we live in a world where more than not uh, parents, adults, forget that everything that you know has been taught to you and everything that you have has been given to you, whether you believe it or not, you remember it or not, but that's just how it is. And I discussed it a little bit in my previous video, laying a strong foundation for our kids, part one. So this is part two, and if you haven't watched that, I'd encourage you to put it in your um, watch later videos and just watch that so that you can be on the same page with us. So continue with the series, I would say that um, it is very important for parents to realize that as much as your child can be talented, they can be smart, they can be all these things, when they lack character, even if they get to places where they need to get to, they will not be sustained because what sustains a person is character. And basic things that are obviously age appropriate, and in this case, I will give very basic examples, but that makes a huge difference because what that does is it instills healthy relationships it builds connection with others and it just lets other people know that i see you i acknowledge you and i mean who doesn't want to be seen and acknowledged adults everybody does right so um things like when you come home you greet everybody that is in the house when a child comes home they don't just go to their room and close themselves in their room why because you are teaching them that it's not just about them and how they feel they need to also say to others hi how are you how is your day it might seem simple but when they practice that it could save them a dear relationship in the future the second thing teaching them how to say thank you so basic mannerisms are really really important hence places like japan they spend the first year of kindergarten i would say grade r if i'm not mistaken grade r, r of a child just teaching the manners and what it takes to live with others and serve others as well so when you give your child something mom or dad or caregiver may they say thank you it enhances the sense of gratitude and it helps them understand that they need others and you might think that maybe they don't but well i mean where are they going to live that there aren't any people so saying thank you acknowledges the other's effort and it also helps them feel good about um being part of a meaningful relationship that gives and hopefully takes saying i'm sorry or excuse me so when your child <laughs> bumps you or bumps others or you know um, makes a mistake teach them that it's good manners to actually say that i'm sorry for example at home with siblings if they do something to the other siblings let them practice to say i'm sorry at home because if they don't do it at home mother father parent they're less likely to do it any other place and and if you expect people to do these things to you that are adults, where do you think it has started? I believe that we live in an epidemic, or let me just say, we live in a time where most parents expect things from adults that they aren't intentionally teaching their kids, which is unfortunate because where do you think those adults actually learned those things from? When you allow your kids to get along or to get away with so much so let us be intentional about how we raise our kids and i guess the key word here is intentional the purpose for that intentionality it means that you do it repeatedly until it becomes a part of them and later on they will thank you it might not necessarily be something that they think they need of course i mean their kids you know <laughs> they need you the parent who has been there done that to actually teach them and you'd find that most of these things we actually get to learn ourselves as well when we um, think about them and when we give them to our kids or teach our kids we also realize and appreciate a um, the way in which the community is structured um, I'll give you a quick example that people go to places and they're like oh my goodness you know I want a place with good vibes I want people to be nice nice are your kids nice are you nice so i believe that if we would just pause and we think about what we give rather than what we receive most of us 
we would actually prepare ourselves because we would not necessarily think that the world is just about what happens to us but we would understand that we have the power to create our environment and we do that with our words we do that with attitudes we do that with character so as much as um institutions 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 are there to help us instill certain things in our kids it is the responsibility of the parent to groom the character of a child so that by the time they go to school they can say um good morning teacher thank you teacher excuse me teacher it sounds like really but yes parents it makes a huge difference and guess what your child will more likely gain favor from people because then they are sort of like um easy to be around they acknowledge people versus kids who just don't care and unfortunately as i mentioned in my other video if you haven't watched it kids and media that kids who spend a lot of time on phones and tv they don't see people they act as if life begins and ends with a phone and yes unfortunately it is the responsibility of the parent to monitor things like that because your child's overall development is not just about their intellectual capacity it's better to do it from a holistic point of view the mind the soul the spirit that it is healthy in order for them to be a healthy person so if you want to understand or you want to know um what is the foundation of what i stand for proverbs 3 proverbs 22 6 train up a child in a way that they should go and when they're old they will not depart from it so this is the creator of creators giving us a statement an advice and an instruction to say if you will do this then it shall be well with you i personally believe that what is wrong with the world is adults that were not trained in a way that they should go as a result they have short tempers as a result they don't know how to communicate their feelings in a healthy way in relationships as much as smart as the person can be as intelligent as the person can be Still, they don't know how to say thank you, excuse me, and I'm sorry. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you do like the video, share them with your community, and for or to my subscribers, I really appreciate the support. Thank you.